Tis the season for depression. Fa la 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 fuck my life. Hi guys, so this week is gonna be a bit different. There's a lot of things in life that I don't like. Starting a new roll of paper, turning 30, and Christmas. So I thought that for today's video, I would give two out of those three another chance. Not the toilet roll one. So I thought that I could decorate for Christmas, a season that I don't like, and talk a bit about turning 30. Because this will be my last video as a 20 something year old. And maybe by the end of this, my heart will be like the Grinch's. Maybe it will grow like a size. I don't know. Also, you can thank my boyfriend for the lovely Sithma sweater. And I had to take the slippers off because that jingling is gonna ruin the audio. And I'm not an elf, so... So yeah, why don't we get started on the Christmas tree? Because I think that I would hate that the most. So let's just get it out the way. Let's go. How do I open this? Where's the thing? Where's the open thing? What the crap? There it is. Jeez. God, Christmas is so violent. Well, when I'm doing Christmas, it's violent. Okay, what do we have? Pamphlet. Merry Christmas! Don't need you. Oh my god. <sighs> I already hate everything. God. I'm gonna try to not be so angry in this video. Because I was very angry in the other one. So, happy, happy thoughts. Christmas is wonderful. Oh, there's so much. No, not gonna be negative. Look at these lovely little pieces of Christmas tree all over my floor. How are you? You're just gonna be loose. Doesn't seem secure at all. Oh. Ah. Fuck, dog. Crap. You don't fit in that. Are you supposed to be on? I'm going to move you back. Because you need to see all of this. I can see most of this, hopefully. So I'm gonna get to fluffing this tree and talk some shit about turning 30. Uh, I do need to plug this in still. Like, there's string lights in this. How I do this, I have no idea, man. 
found another one. What do I do with you? Wait, there was a thing. Here's the thing. There was a thing. I knew there was a thing. Yeah, so whilst I'm doing this, I thought that maybe we can discuss what it feels like to turn 30. Because I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's just weird. And it's not about getting older. I mean, that's a privilege. It's a privilege to get older. It really is. I mean, considering the alternatives. When you turn 18 or 20 even, it's like this feeling of, oh my God, you know, I need to be an adult and I don't know, pay bills, do adult things. But in reality, no one has expectations of you being an adult yet. The twenties are like for figuring out how to be an adult. So the feeling I have is when you turn 30, people expect you to have that shit figured out. And I don't. <laughs> I don't have anything figured out. I'm sorry I'm behind the tree, but I need to plug this in. I feel old, but not really. Does that make sense? It's like I blinked from when I was 16 and now I'm 30. And I'm supposed to know everything now. But I don't. You know, everyone you know having babies and buying houses, you know, doing the adult things <laughs> that people expect you to do. And I never do what anyone expects me to do, which is not a good thing. <laughs> if there's any 30 year olds out there, how do you feel about it? How did you feel about it? Because a lot of people are just giving you the regular bullshit that Oh, everything is going to be so much better when you're 30. No. Yeah, that might be the case for you, but you know... I don't have any evidence that my 30s are going to be any better than my 20s. I've... I've... Very much had enough... Of these cables. Let's start fluffing. Like all of my friends, well not all of them, but most of my friends are 30 at this point. Most of them actually had their birthdays this year. My boyfriend is old as shit, so... <laughs> We're all old farts. I just feel like I've been 30. That's, that's the thing. I feel like I've been 30 for most of my 20s. That doesn't really matter. It's mostly that people expect something from me now. Maybe they did before too. But then it was like, yeah, but I'm 27, it's fine. I can figure it out when I'm 30. Hire me. You can hire me for fluffing trees. Cause I'm goddamn great at this. Is this Good content. <laughs> Maybe this is not the content you asked for, but it's the content you deserve. You know it. So some of you might be wondering why I don't like Christmas. I just don't get it. There's like this forced holiday that you have to enjoy, or you're weird. And I am weird. There's like obligations to be with your family, enjoy your family. There are things that I do like about, maybe not Christmas, um, but the holidays. I like when it's like it is outside today, like white and quiet 
That's cozy. I can watch a Christmas movie. Die Hard, one, two, three. The other ones we don't talk about. That's actually the only tradition that I have. Watching Die Hard and eating what we call stuva de macaroni. I have no idea what that would be in English. It's like pasta boiled in milk. That sounds gross, but it's, it's like mac and cheese, but without the cheese. That also sounds kind of gross, but it's delicious. And that's what I eat. And I watch action movies. It's actually a really nice tradition. So yeah, why am I doing this then? Why am I putting up a tree? Decorating, making a Christmas YouTube video. Because I'm turning 30 and it's time to grow up. It's time to enjoy what other adults enjoy. I feel like it could be fun to enjoy things. <laughs> I don't want to be the Grinch. I want to enjoy this. People seem to have a lot of fun. Just that I don't. Is this looking any better? My hands hurt. What else do I enjoy about winter? I don't enjoy the food. <laughs> Just asked what I enjoy about Christmas and I start with something that I don't like. But we can talk about it. I don't like the Christmas food here. It's nasty. It's like 10 types of ham and fish. Like where you live, do you have a lot of fish? You have so much fish, <laughs> which everyone seemed to enjoy. Like this is the thing. Everyone seemed to enjoy all of these things that I just, I can't. I keep thinking that they might be pretending, but they seem to actually enjoy it. I have studied them. And it seems sincere. <laughs> it's like I am an alien species who's just come to Earth and trying to understand Christmas. Like, what is this Christmas? What is tree inside? How do you give present? How wrap present? Why is stuff getting wrapped? Trying to be human, trying to understand Christmas. Feel a bit alien on this planet. Yeah, what do I enjoy about Christmas? I enjoy seeing other people enjoy it. I do. That's so wholesome of me. I know. I am a saint. You can call me Saint Dits. I enjoy the fact that calories doesn't count. Yes, carbs. 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 All the carbs you want and it's completely okay to eat chocolate like nine in the morning so i feel like i like the lead up to christmas because there's a lot of eating also a lot of shitty music still but that's i can deal with the music if someone just keeps feeding me potatoes if you have some christmas movies or I don't know, other things that you enjoy in life in general, <laughs> then comment, please, someone comment something. At this point, I'll take hate comments. Just say something. <laughs> now, where do we put this? <laughs> where am I gonna put this? We can try this corner first because it's the closest. <laughs> well, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big for this corner. Let's move some shit around. I'm gonna move you so you can see what I'm doing. Oh jeez, that almost went to shit immediately. Ah, <laughs> that was so heavy. Help. That doesn't look too bad, does it? 
Enjoy the shot of my ass. Merry Christmas. I will show you everything with the lights turned off. We gotta do some more. Can't just have a tree. Even though I really could stop right here. We're gonna do more. Let's go. Welcome to the kitchen. Sort of. This is the kitchen island that we have. So this is the back of the kitchen. The kitchen is actually there. So this wall is not Christmassy enough. There's holes in the walls from the previous owner and this needs to be filled and painted. Just haven't done that yet because I'm lazy. So we're gonna put something else here. So I do have a couple of things that might work or they might not. We'll see. But there's already a screw in this. So I got this beast. Because what says Christmas if not the head of a deer? It's gonna go right here. Because I don't have to screw anything in. Look at that. <laughs> so he's gonna be up there and then I have this thing. A wreath. I don't know if there's some Christmas law that says that you need to put this on a door. Mm, I don't care. If this comes crashing down on my head then Christmas is cancelled. This can fit. Oh, it is, you know. Look at that. Look at that. It's like I planned this. Got lights too. This is not what we want. Absolutely not. I just saw that this looks like crap from where you are. So I'm gonna put you over there. Because I swear it doesn't look that bad in real life. Hold on. Doesn't look that bad in real life. Yeah, the holes on the sides are a bit distracting, but look at that. Look at that proud deer. <laughs> I'm giving you the glam shots, okay? That's great. Next, welcome to another angle of the kitchen. So, yeah, so I got like a garland with lights that I thought that I would hang on the curtain rod. So let's do that. Let's see if we can do this without falling out the window. Can you see any of this? I thought that I would just do like this in the middle. Comment below if it's janky. Well, it is janky. I can see that it's janky. Why didn't you tell me? It's kind of genius. Kind of weird. <laughs> Just like me. I mean, this is cozy. Right? I mean, it's kind of janky, but you know. Also, I can give you a bit of a view. It doesn't get more Christmassy than this. So yeah, I feel like we're done here. And I enjoy this experiment. And I feel like I'm gonna enjoy having all these lights during the dark, dark season. I'm not sure I'm gonna start liking Christmas, but you know, this is a step. This is a step in the right direction to being normal person so if this is the last time that i see you before christmas then merry christmas i love you all and enjoy all of the carbs and i mean it all of them merry carbless so i guess i'll see you next time bye
I have a piece of tree in my eyeball. Just, ow! Jesus. I'm still here. I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> this is wholesome content. Me stabbing Christmas. Yeah, I do have a piece of tree in my eyeball.